What's up everyone? Sky Denton, ASFreedom.com. And guess what? You have two bodies. I'll say that again. It's correct. You have two bodies. Both of them are scientifically valid and scientifically measurable. Most of us with chronic pain and most of us in the world, we only associate ourselves with the physical body. And that makes perfect sense. That's a natural outcome of our society, our culture, and definitely of living in chronic pain because chronic pain is sensed in that physical body. But one of your best friends, one of your most amazing allies, when you are ready to begin moving forward into a life with less pain, is building a relationship with your energetic body. Years ago, when I was crippled in pain, Eckhart Tolle was on an Oprah show. Millions of people watching it. And he said something really interesting that struck a chord with me, and it began my journey into a whole new world that I had never explored before. And it's something that really helped set me free from pain and inflammation. And he was talking about this energetic body. And what he said was, close your eyes, be in a quiet place, and see if you can feel your hands from the inside out. Now the hands are an easy place to start because the hands have a lot of nerve endings in them. So it makes sense that we can be able to feel a little bit better there. So I tried this one afternoon, I sat down closed my eyes in a quiet place, got comfortable, and I could feel my hands from the inside out. I could feel this tingling energy. And that, my friend, is exactly what he's talking about. Now, that is a really important thing. And if you know me, you know that I love science. I love to break everything apart and deliver to you just the basic scientific version of it so that you understand it, so that you can believe it and understand it. And then you can move on more empowered every single day into a better life. So this physical body, this is the part of us that is experiencing the inflammation. The energetic part is not. So I'll ask you a quick question. What one of these is in pain? You've probably guessed it. It's the physical body. The energetic side of us, that tingling sensation that I could feel in my hands and you definitely have the ability to do as well and in other parts of your body, that is not in pain, okay? They are both part of us, but they're quite different in that sense. And then we've got the brain. All of you know the brain, the biggest control center in our body. Well, our brain, when it is experiencing pain, it is processing a lot of information from the physical body to the brain and back and forth. Now, most of us have never built a relationship with our energetic body, but that can be one of the most important things we can do because it's not in pain. So when you sit down and you feel just that little bit of tingling sensation in your hands or in your feet, and then you do it again and again and again, these pathways, these neurological pathways are going to develop and they're gonna get bigger so the brain can process this information easier. Now, that's a good thing because where energy flows, where concentration goes, this neural programming goes as well. And what we want are more pathways into a world with less pain and less pathways back into a world with a lot of pain. So what this looks like, you guys, when I was in a ton of pain, I was crippled at that point, I would sit in a chair. I could feel into my hands, and then the more I did it, I could feel into my entire body. And it's a very good feeling. It's a feeling of, of ease, of peace, of love. And that right there means that the brain is processing differently. And like you've heard me say before, when the brain changes, your pain changes, okay? That's another scientific fact. So then I could get up out of that chair and I could put my focus onto that part of my body, the part that felt good, instead of the part that didn't. So what that does, there's very interesting feedback loops from the brain to pain and back. And when you're focused on pain every day, not only are these pathways getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more developed and harder to get rid of, but they are also, your brain, when it senses this pain, also puts more stress hormones back into our body, which causes more pain and more inflammation. So that's a pretty slippery slope. 
right? And that's how a lot of people get caught in these inflammatory diseases and it totally overcomes them. And you guys, I want you to break this thing apart from the inside out. Your action item for today is twofold. Number one, if you have questions on this, leave them in the comments below. And number two, your homework assignment is to try this out. Find a quiet environment, sit down, start with the hands, it's an easy place, and just see if you can feel that feeling I'm talking about. It's not a concrete, tangible feeling. It's more of an energetic, expansive feeling. It's very similar to after you've had a glass of wine or a beer, and you get what's called the body high. That body high is quite similar in my experience. So try it out. If you found this information helpful, do a couple of things. Share it with a friend, like or subscribe to this channel or page so you don't miss upcoming videos which we are already making for you. You guys, my name is Sky Denton. This is AS Freedom and I congratulate you for showing up and being a more awesome version of yourself than you ever have been and together we're gonna get you living a better life.